Hello, this is Brian again on part two of the tutorial. Uh, I'm told by my sons to try to keep this uh, brief as possible because of the YouTube restrictions. Uh, I'm in no way an expert of Blender. I'm a programmer. and um, But uh, let's uh, get started by opening our Blender up. Now the first thing I'm going to do is create a uh, cylinder and um, I'm going to move this cylinder that I just made right over here to, well I'm going to have to rotate it first on the X axis. So I'm going to hit R and then I'm going to hit X and I'm going to do 90. Now I'm placing that, oh I got to also go to wireframe mode uh, I'm going to um, place that right over that uh, deflector array on the front of the hull. And I'm going to just basically guess, because the model's kind of tilted, I'm going to guess that that's about the right size. Now I switched over to the side view, and as you can see, um, my image did not change. Unfortunately, I don't have a side view a very good side view of this ship, but I do know about where it goes at, and I'm going to go ahead and elongate this, and uh, it goes back further than this, I know that much, <laughs> and down some, but I'm going to leave it right here, and I'm going to go ahead and do my knife tool, and use multiple cuts of five, and just slice anywhere because your cut is going to come out nice and even and evenly spaced out. The next thing you want to do <coughs> is I'm going to select that front set of vertices, the very front edge. I want to scale that down. So I'm going to hit scale and just kind of by rule of thumb, it's about the size of the deflector array, the front of it is. Now the next set is going to have to be moved forward, so I'm going to um, select those. Oh wait a minute, I've got to hit A to deselect. Now I can select these, and now I'm going to drag these forward, which is Y. Um, I hit the Y key and it locks it in scaling it down with S um, if you hear the audio cut out uh, during this tutorial it is mainly because I'm either having to ask Josh or Vinny something about the blender or I'm getting a phone call uh, a lot goes on in my house and you know so I just uh, move that forward and uh, this tapers in the back here. This this portion of the hull in the back here that tapers out. And what we're going to do is I'm going to select that, and I'm going to uh, again just guessing here. It looks about the right length. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make my cut in the back portion where the shuttle bay is. Uh, so I'm going to use my uh, knife tool again. I'm going to go with an exact line and I'm just going to cut by clicking and selecting points. I select a point to start, click again, and click again, click again, and again and finally the last click will be out here and then I can hit enter and that cuts it and puts the piece in there that I need now I'm just going to select these unwanted ones out of there I'm going to use my uh, B twice and select these and delete the vertices I hit delete and then the little me sub menu pops up and I go vertices So. There's my cut. Now that'll have to be cleaned up in the back there. Um, 
I'm still thinking that this is kind of off a bit. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up into a uh, isometric view so I can see this. This does need some work. It needs to be filled in back here on the back end of the um, where the shuttle where I took the cutout at. Now I'm going to show you real quick uh, how you would go about doing that. You would select one of the verts. Uh, select any two vertices in the in the given area like so. I'm going to right click on one, hold shift and right click on another and then I'm going to hit the F and that puts a little line there. Um, you select three, it'll put a little triangle and fill the face in. Select four, you'll get a full thing with a face. But now, I'm going to go ahead and work on this. I've got it tapered back now, as you can see. I think that's more along the lines of what we should be seeing for this ship. I'm going to go ahead and start working on the uh, neck of this. This attaches the, the cylinder that attaches the saucer to the net, to the body. And as you can see, I created a cylinder again. And uh, this one will not have to be subdivided at all. We're just going to shrink it down, put it up there where uh, inside the saucer section. Uh, I'm scaled it. And now I'm going to select these bottom row of verts, grab this, these vertices, drag them up here on top of the hull, and I'm going to scale them on the y-axis so that uh, they fit. They need to be uh, squished in a bit. Now on the front of the ship, I see that my cylinder didn't quite meet uh, the center, so I'm going to drag it over, and I'm going to have to scale it in on the X axes. Again, I hit the S key, I'm going to hit the S key here and scale that in X. There we go. Looks good. Seems to taper at the bottom a bit, but that's okay. Um, there's our neck. So, this pretty much concludes the um, creation of the body and the neck. I'm just going to go ahead and taper this, take this taper out. I'm going to make it a little bit more uh, straight down. There we go. And uh, like I was saying, this pretty much concludes uh, the creation of the body and the neck of the Enterprise. I'll get back with you again in part three on how to create the warp engines. That'll be the final part of this tutorial. Thank you.